guess the challenge for me as a dietitian is try to identify what motivates a student to consider their nutrition. And National Nutrition Month is about bringing awareness to the importance of good, balanced, variety, moderation, and nutrition. So you guys are students. What do we need to do? What would, what would motivate a student to not forget to eat? Well, this is how I, this is how I pose it, okay? I pose it as a personal experiment. Experiment with yourself, okay? You're not used to eating breakfast. Start eating breakfast on a daily basis for two weeks. Within that two weeks, specifically identify if your concentration, your energy, your motivation have improved. Anything else besides just what I sense is the primary focus as aesthetics. Students care about aesthetics. This age group cares about aesthetics, not necessarily about <coughs> well. Am I incorrect? I want to look good at completely trumps. <clears throat> you know, I can push through. I'm going to make the A no matter what, but I still want to look good. So nutrition is put then on the back burner. So I promote what I, I call a personal experiment. Just try this for two weeks, new behavior, whatever it is. Water, not skipping, right? Um, eating a balance of nutrients at a meal. What do I mean by that, a balance of nutrients at a meal? Different food groups. Just make it simple. There's six food groups. When you go to have your meal, aim to include <coughs> at least three. There's six. Three, at least, to call it a meal. I just like to keep it simple. Because students will say, I can't do it perfectly, therefore I'm not going to do it. It's like an all or nothing kind of thinking. Okay, I don't have time to go to the dining facility for breakfast. You have space in your refrigerator to have some yogurt, you have a container of dry cereal, and maybe some uh, snack packs of fruit. Fruit, yogurt, cereal. Mix it together and call it a breakfast. So maybe you, can't, you don't have time, you don't want to have time, you want to sleep versus get up, then have something available in your room. Three food groups at least. Yes, sir? Um, is it proven that like eating breakfast revs up your metabolism, or does, or is, is if you skip breakfast does it slow down your body's metabolism? Um, with you, regards your body's to used to to not eating breakfast, right? Well, what we know about energy utilization in general is that you need to fuel in order to produce, right? Okay. So. If you're not fueling, the body thinks you're starving. Even though you're not actively thinking, I'm gonna starve myself, you're just like, I'm just gonna ignore my hunger because I have to go through and get this done. Okay, so in that situation, your metabolism is gonna gear down. The next time you approach an eating situation, you're gonna be so physiologically hungry that you're not necessarily gonna make a healthy food choice. And in that scenario, you're gonna be holding on, your metabolism is like, oh, thanks, <laughs> right? So it's an inefficient metabolism. Okay. So you're not burning calories efficiently. What do we know about weight loss and efficient metabolism? What do we know about this? What's required within the, the metabolic pathways, the TCA cycle, the Krebs cycle, electron transfer chain? What do we know about these things? We need yeah, we need glucose as a precursor, protein as a precursor, fat molecules as a precursor, but within those pathways, vitamins and minerals. Students will say, oh, I'm so tired. Well, you know what? Try to increase fruit and vegetable. <coughs> what do we know about fruit and vegetable? Vitamins. That help 
us efficiently metabolize glucose, fats, protein, right? So I, I kind of frame it in the form of a personal experiment in terms of how do you motivate somebody to make a change or to want to do